a head teacher hat on and tell you a wee bit about how we're approaching it in my school. We're looking very much at um, taking each of the levels over their, their full three years to give the children the opportunity to revisit, to, to get their bread. And what we have to do, part of that is to, to trust teachers, judgment and consideration. So we haven't gone for a tick box approach to it. We're looking very much at how we use the big posters that I tell you, the big posters that came in the big green folders that have every outcome and every experience for each of the levels. We use those very much to support the teachers in considering what they've covered to involve the children in their own um, assessment um, of their work and tying that into to other aspects of it. So I think it, one of the things you obviously have to do within a school is to have trust and a, a real sense of the team. Can if you tick boxes come because managers and school leadership teams are often very insecure about how they can do it because there isn't enough time to have the kind of professional dialogues that you need to have. So I think your answer to your question, how do you avoid the tick box approach? You start to talk to each other within schools. You spend time when you're reviewing forward plans and looking at tracking and monitoring about individual children. You consider moderation of work based on small groups and small clusters of, of outcomes and experiences. And then you trust that if your teachers have a, a showing in that conversation and understanding, then they're actually doing it for all the other areas. Because you can't talk about everything all of the time. So you need trust. I just wanted to agree very much with that description of how I think the experience and outcomes were intended to be used. And I think for new teachers, it may not be all that clear to you just how much of a change in mindset the experiences and outcomes represent. Your predecessors as teachers have perhaps been more used to seeing children as having to get quickly through levels. But what we're doing with curriculum for excellence is something quite different. I think that's been really well described. Looking at the experiences and outcomes as a starting point and not a finishing point and not a ticking off once you've done it. And your responsibility there for helping your colleague teachers to understand that new way of looking at the curriculum I think is, is really important because it will be very much harder for, for some more experienced teachers to have that idea of learning than it will be for you coming to it more fresh. Thank you very much.